this is probably that USB microphone you've been looking for. Hi folks, I'm Mark, I'm all about psychology, tech and productivity and the lovely people at Fifine have sent me this funky budget USB microphone to check out today, the AmpliGame A8. We'll be taking a look at what you get in the box, an overview of all the features and of course what it sounds like compared to some of the other microphones I own. And before we get into any of that, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do, which is start with the price. So this microphone is under 60 pounds or under $60. I think this is really important to bear in mind given everything we're about to cover here. Now, I've owned a few microphones over the last few years, including some premium ones that are upwards of £300, some in the mid-range, and also some budget microphones like this. And if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for something that's affordable, multi-purpose, sounds better than whatever is plugged into your device normally, and looks good sat on your desk. Let's see how this shapes up. So let's start by taking a look at what comes in the box. And it's just four items. Firstly, we have a user guide. Next, we have a nice quality USB-C to USB-A cable. Now, it's worth noting that the USB-C connection goes into the mic itself, so you will need a spare USB-A port or a hub or an adapter to connect this into your computer. Then we have a separate pivot mount in case you wanna use the microphone with a desk arm or a stand. And then finally, the mic itself. Now this comes fully assembled on the mic stand, which is a really nice touch. You genuinely can be up and running in just a few minutes. And the stand has got some nice anti-slip material on the base, which will stop it moving around on your desk and also help absorb any unwanted rumbles from the surface. Now for such a small mic, it's reassuringly heavy, weighing in at 426 grams. And this is a cardioid condenser microphone, so you'll be expecting to pick up sound that's coming from the front and the sides of the microphone and not the rear. Again, this is really good for podcasters, gamers, as you'll be able to be hearing noise coming at you from another source whilst projecting sound into the microphone and not being too worried about feedback or the microphone picking up anything that you don't want it to. So let's move on to take a look at some of the features with the A8. Now there's plenty packed into this little microphone. First of all, let's take a look around the mic. Now, first of all, we can see we have a built-in pop filter. We'll see how this affects our audio very shortly. There's also a built-in shock mount. This is a really cool feature to find in a budget microphone because they absorb sounds and vibrations from your desk, which means you're not gonna find them carry through into your recording. Now, if we look underneath, you're also gonna see the USB port for power, as well as a 3.5 mil headphone jack so you can either route audio through your computer or monitor your audio if you're recording vocals for like a podcast or for music really really handy little feature now around the back we'll see there's a volume control so you can manage levels right from the microphone and also we have the dedicated RGB button which allows you to cycle through a range of static colors and also this dynamic shifting mode which I really like and as you'd expect with a mic like this it's pretty much plug and play. I hooked this straight into my Mac and it read it as an input and output device straight away. And then in terms of hooking this up to a boom mount, this is also really straightforward. You just swap out the little screw around the back for the one that comes supplied with the mic and it'll let you screw onto any kind of mic stand just like this. So far, so good, right? But I know you're here to find out what this mic sounds like. So what you're about to hear is a comparison, really. I thought I'd pick three microphones and three different kind of qualities to, to choose from. So the first one is the sound from my Sony camera, the A7C, just the built-in microphone that comes as standard. The second will be from the DJI wireless mic, which is what I usually use to record most audio in my YouTube videos. Finally, you'll hear the Fifine A8. So you've got a comparison across those three different sources to hear. Now I've chosen a script here that has a lot of plosives in, so you should be able to see how this affects the audio through each of these three different mics, and particularly how the pop filter works on the A8. So I'm gonna keep the audio here nice and clean, so no post-processing applied. You're just gonna hear what comes straight out of the microphone. Here we go. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for parents of pretentious children. They were previously published and probably Pretty interesting. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for parents of pretentious children. They were previously published and probably pretty interesting. 
People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for parents of pretentious children. They were previously published and probably pretty interesting. So based on what you just heard there, let me know in the comments, could you tell the difference between those three different audio sources in terms of sound quality? And bearing in mind, the Sony A7C is 34 times the price of this microphone, and the DJI wireless mic is about five times the price of this microphone. I was really impressed when I listened to this back. So if you're looking for a budget mic that offers high quality sound for video conferencing, gaming, podcasting, or any kind of voiceover work, I think this is well worth a look. And what I really like about this mic is that it's so versatile. It's kind of got a business mode with all the lights switched on. It looks really smart sat on your desk. And then if you're into kind of gaming or streaming, or you just want something a little bit different, you can switch on those RGB features and it comes to life in a totally different way. And of course, folks, if you've got any questions about this microphone, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know with a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, maybe even a cheeky subscribe. I'll see you next time.